Alright guys, so <clears throat> in class, last time we met, I recorded a problem that looks something like this with the triangle, the circle, and the squares. And we worked through it all together, <clears throat> and we worked through it through substitution and then changed to elimination. And I'm going to show you that today you can also do elimination with these three by threes. But there's a certain order to it. Okay. All you have to do is this. Pick two of these equations, any two, and your goal is to make it from a 3 by 3 over to a 2 by 2. Okay? So one of your equations will come from these two. Okay? Using elimination. Let's say we pick these other two. Your other equation will come from elimination. So ultimately I'm trying to build a two by two systems. Two equations with two variables. Okay? Are we good? Okay. So this is how we're doing it. It's like you're treating this like a mini sub problem and you're trying to eliminate one of the variables. Which one, based off what y'all see here, which one do you want to eliminate? You can pick whichever one you want. X. Okay. So if you eliminate X here, you have to do it over here as well. You all with me? So if you choose to do X here, well then you have to choose to eliminate X here as well. Okay? All right. Here we go. To eliminate X for the first pair, what could I multiply what equation by what number? The top by 2. Okay, so listen. I want you to treat this top equation as R1. It means row 1. I want you to treat the second one as R2 and this third one as R3. Okay? So listen. If I multiply the top, like you just said, by 2, it's saying 2R1. You with me? Okay. So 2R1 means this. I'm multiplying this top by 2 and I distribute. I would get 2X plus 2Y plus 2Z is equal to 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, right? I'm going to add what equation to that? Row 2. Row two. So basically, if you wanted to do like shorthand fast work today, especially for the drill practices that we're going to do for bonus points, this is a good way you could do it. Okay? You could say all I'm going to do is multiply the first row by 2 and then add it to whatever is the second row so that I can see what my answer is going to be. Okay? So here we go. Did the second row change? Did I multiply that by anything? No. no. Okay. So, I'm going to write it down here as negative 2x plus 2y minus 4z is equal to 12. And remember, with elimination, you are adding these two together. And what did we just eliminate? X. X became what number? Zero. So, it was an adding cancellation form of zero. Okay? So, what's left is going to be 4y, how many z's? Negative 2 z's, and then 12. This, guys, right here is our first of the two that we just found. Go with me? We're going to do this one more together. Okay? So now, let's look at row 2 and row 3. Do I have to multiply these by anything, or can I just add right now? I can just add because my goal is to cancel x. You with me? So a little scratch work on the side if you wanted to. Row 2 plus row 3 is going to give us what equation? Anyone? Negative 1y. Yep, so negative y minus 
5z because you're doing negative 4 plus a negative z. And guys, if you need to show this work, just do it off to the side. Negative 2x plus 2y minus 4z is equal to 12. 2x, this is row 3, is equal to 7. And remember, you're adding these. And you see those cancel to 0. You have to be good at adding and subtracting negatives. So positive 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And then you have over here a negative plus another negative. You get negative 5y. And anyone, what do I get on the other side? 19. See, now this is a lot easier to look at. And from here, we're only trying to find either y or z. Okay, here we go. So treat this. Treat this as a totally new problem that you're going to solve from here. Here we go. Which variable do you want to eliminate? Y. Okay, so here we go. To eliminate y, I'm going to do what? Multiply row what? Row 2. So this is like a new row 1 and a new row 2. Okay? So we're going to multiply row 2 by 4. Go with me? And when I do that, I get negative 4y. Keep going, guys. Minus 20y is equal to? Or, my bad, z. I see what you're saying. Thank you for that. And I will fix the other one. Is going to equal what? What's 19 times 4? 76. So we multiplied row 2 by 4 and got negative 4y minus 20z is equal to 76. Okay? Did we do anything to row 1? No. So we're just going to add these together. Ultimately, I'm trying to build this notation. Because this right here is what we're finishing the unit off. It's called Gaussian elimination. And you'll see here soon what, what all that means. Okay? So row 1 stayed the same. So we're going to do it just like this. We are adding these together. We just eliminated. I thought it was order specific. What's order specific? Like R1. You have to add R2 to R1. We are right here. So you don't have to do R1 plus 4R2. That's a good point that she just brought up. You could still do 4R2 plus R1 because addition does not have order. Order doesn't matter with addition. Go with me? Okay, so if I add these two together, those would cancel. What do they cancel to? What number did they cancel to? Yeah. Zero. So I have how many Z's? Negative 22Z is equal to 88. All that work, Z, is negative 4. So we have our first answer for z. So what do we do from here? We still have to solve for x and y. Yeah, just go ahead. Plug it in where? Yep, you're going to plug in into one of these, anyone. It doesn't matter. Let's say you decide to plug it into this one. And then from there, you just solve for y. So you plug in negative 4 right here, and you would get 4y. Negative 2 times a negative 4 is a positive 8. And if you subtract, you get 4y is equal to 4. So what's y? 1. And now that you have z and y, you're going to take z and y, and you're going to use any one of these three equations, and you're going to plug in z and y. Go with me? You're going to plug in, and you tell me, which one do you want to use? It doesn't matter. Okay, if you use the first one, I would say go with the original one. Okay? So pretend like that 2 is not even there. So you would have a 1 here. You would have a negative 4 here. So you have x plus 1 minus 4 is equal to 0. What would x be, guys? 3. 3. So at the very end, your answer 
to this system that you would write is x equals 3, y equals 1, and z equals negative 4. If the thing does not take that in your, um, in your Chromebook, I want you to write it like this, 3 comma 1 comma negative 4, almost like an x, y, z coordinate, like the three-dimensional graphs that we were looking at last class. On a test, either way is okay. I will accept both, but I prefer the point. The one that has x comma y comma z comma. Yes? Um, on that, yes it does. Listen, shh, did y'all hear that question? That's a very good question. Does it have to be in specific order for your answers on this Chromebook? It does. So please, make sure that you are listing the first variable, second, and then the third that way. Are we good? Yep. All right, here we go. Yep. 